So we're going to look at how reactions, how we represent reactions, heat reactions. So we know that some reactions uh, produce heat, some reactions uh, absorb heat. We're probably more familiar with the ones that produce heat. Uh, they tend to be more common or more spontaneous. So we, we burn a variety of things to make heat. We burn wood for a campfire, burn uh, natural gas to cook our food, heat our house, we burn can candles for light. Uh, those are all exothermic reactions and they produce heat. And as an exothermic reaction, our enthalpy reaction is going to be negative. But then we want to be able to write out and the reaction show how much heat is produced. And we generally have two ways of doing that. So uh, one way we write out a reaction, our enthalpy delta H, we give it in terms of kilojoules, just kilojoules. And this is the, the normal way of doing this. Um, so this would be a 368 kilojoules per two moles of sodium per two moles of water per two moles of sodium hydroxide and per one mole of hydrogen. So when we have it this way, to calculate heat of the heat produced or absorbed, uh, we have our Q for heat uh, is moles over the coefficient times our delta H. So if we're doing sodium here, we'd be doing the delta H divided by two, and then uh, that gives our negative 184 uh, uh, kilojoules per mole of sodium, and then we multiply by how many moles of sodium that we would have present. Um, if we, for certain reactions, we know what compound we're talking about, uh, like a formation reaction is forming a compound from the elements in the standard states. So we know that when we give our enthalpy, it's based on moles of that one product. So in this case, our enthalpy of formation is a positive 49.0 kilojoules per mole. We just write it that way, kilojoules per mole, because knowing the type of reaction, then we'll say, oh, yes, it's per mole of that benzene, that C6H6. Uh, and if we're using this form here, uh, we're have kilojoules per mole, then we're just multiplying it by the moles of the benzene, and that gives our heat. And this first one here, uh, we use any of the reactants or products, we do moles divided by coefficients times our, our delta H. So let's do a problem on this. Uh, this is from the worksheet. So uh, iron reaction with oxygen make rust. Uh, we have delta H of minus 1652 kilojoules. So it's not per mole, it's for the whole reaction as written. So it's that 1652 is for four moles of iron, three moles of oxygen, two moles of iron, three oxide. And it's an exothermic reaction that helps make it more spontaneous. We know that iron likes to rust and go in this direction. And if we were to powder iron and disperse it in air, uh, when you added a flame, it could burn and burn fast, producing heat and light, just like normal combustion. But in this case, we want to know how much heat is produced when we have produced uh, one mole of the iron three oxide. So since we're dealing with kilojoules, we're going to be dividing by the coefficient. So we have one mole that we're putting in, the coefficient is two, so we're dividing by the coefficient two. Then we run this through our calculator and we can see that it has produced a uh, 826 kilojoules of heat. So the negative sign shows that it's uh, exothermic. That means we're producing this heat. If it was a positive sign, it'd be endothermic. We would be absorbing that heat. 